What up boys and welcome back to another video. So I've made a ton of these videos in the series uh, that I'm currently working on where I'm showing you guys how to farm the specific dungeon and what you can possibly get from the dungeon. So uh, now a feature like the ones that I would normally farm, most of them at least, and that leaves uh, still a couple of dungeons that I've done uh, quite a bit in the past and that I do every now and then when I feel like spicing it up. And this next one, Skolomance, is definitely one of those. Because most people are going to be like, why would I farm Skolomance, right? Like, what could possibly be good in Skolomance? So, before we dive into the loot and everything, I'm going to show you guys how to run it. Even though it's pretty much straightforward. Uh, but it takes place uh, right up here in, uh, in Western Plaguelands. So make sure that you guys have it on normal mode and not heroic mode when you're running it. So normally when I uh, when I do these videos, there's like s these routes that I'm taking that could be nice to follow along. Or there's like the spawn point of specific chests that I want to mention out in the video. Now, that is uh, there's not that much of that in Skolo. There really isn't. The only thing, I've died like 17 times trying to show people uh, or even live streaming myself cleaning this first room. Because if you mess up and you pull the boss, you die. So I've had a lot of embarrassing deaths uh, live on stream in this dungeon. So I'm just hoping that I'm not going to do that in this recording. Because you guys know me, I would definitely leave that in. So now we're pretty much good to go. Killing all the alts in this room before we even touch the boss. Otherwise, you will be screwed. Like, you will die if you pull the boss. You can see the ice that he throws uh, around in the room. If you, if you stand in that when he throws it, you will die. Definitely. So, while we're running this dungeon, I do want to mention that you guys can still get the uh, 0 to 10 million gold guide. And make sure you use the code the uh, Shadowlands and you're going to get 50% off and this is a guy that's completely uh, step by step on how to reach 10 million gold starting from zero gold and I also made uh, something that I'm super proud of which is the uh, complete gold guide for classic TBC that's coming out soon so if you're planning on playing classic TBC this guide is definitely going to help you out and I just recently updated this book as well to have like preparations or investments if you like that you should make now before the actual game releases. So link to that is down below in the description. Now there's not that many mobs in Skolomance. So you want to make sure you kill every single one of them. These skeletons don't have a loot table. However these uh, humanoids and these zombie looking guys do have a loot table. So make sure you get all of them. Just like this. I hate the AOE cap that we have now in the game. God that's annoying. And we'll kill the boss. If you don't want it, the boss, you have this really annoying illusion thingy popping up. On this one, I normally just run around in a circle. I kill all the mobs and then I uh, go back and I loot afterwards. Because the mobs are... Uh, like, after you kill everything right here, you have to wait for uh, the boss to summon. So you might as well just clear the mobs. And then you run around and you loot afterwards. And do notice that I'm actually looting while running the dungeon. After all the complaints of me just running the dungeon without looting. This is me looting. So hopefully I'm going to get uh, something really cool. So killing the boss. Rattle gore. And then we'll keep on killing. I hate these guys. These big guys right here. Super annoying to kill. You got to swipe like a million times to end them. Let's see. Ending this guy. There we go. Now this dungeon is way shorter than what it used to be back in the days in Classic WoW. Let's see. And then we're grabbing these last mobs right here. And nothing really cool so far. But there's no chests. No chest whatsoever. Now on this one we have to wait. There's some RP action going on. It's not quite as bad as uh, dungeons like uh, Shadowfang Keep, for instance, which is horrible. You have to wait like a minute plus or something like that for the uh, the wolf to come and open up the door. So then we kill this guy. And once you're done with this, you can loot this chest. I've done this many times. I've never received anything but the BOPs from the chest. 
So it's still like roughly 10 gold on average from looting the chest. It takes you like half a second to do so. Then we're going to clear all of these mobs. This is probably the best room of the entire dungeon. And then jump down, kill these, kill the boss. And make sure everything is looted, right? Yep. And that, that leaves us with one mob. Like, that's it. We'll go down here, we'll kill this last boss, and boom. That's the dungeon. Like, that's the entire thing. So, now since I'm a druid, I can easily uh, leave and re-enter the dungeon. I just dream walk, and then when I'm out of the dungeon, I can right-click my portrait and uh, reset dungeon. Or simply just open up Looter Bracer and then uh, click Destroy Trash and Reset Instance. So now we're going to talk a bit about why you should or shouldn't farm Skolomans. Because the truth is, the green items in Skolomans, they're not that interesting. You can do many dungeons that have the exact same uh, like loot table of green items. But they also have way more mobs. So you're killing a ton more mobs than you will in Skolomans. So the only reason why you would want to do Skolomance is because of some items uh, that I like to refer to as legacy items. These are items that was removed from the game in like Kata, like way back, and then they were implemented again. Uh, that was like the end of uh, BFA, right? Or was it? I don't recall. But they got they got re reintroduced to the game later on. So the day of the patch when people figured this out, me included. They were sky high. They were going for so much gold. Because the only ones up on the auction house. And there wasn't many of them. And in some cases there was none at all. But they were priced for millions of gold. Because they were unavailable. Until they accidentally became available again. Uh, after the patch. So that's the items that you're after. Keep in mind though. Most of these items. Especially from Skolomans. They're not specifically cool. They really are it. So you're looking at people doing like ATT, the add-on, all the things, collecting all the items. Those are like the only potential buyer for any of these uh, these uh, items at all. So I'm leaving a list down below in the description of all these items that I'm mentioning right now. But you can take a look and we can try and see if there's any of these up on the auction house. You have the Malefic Bracers going for 100,000 gold. I actually sold a couple of those. That's one of the items. And then you have the Innervating Band. None of that one. You have Belt of Ordained. I know that one is not up on the auction house because I've checked. Same with the Bone Brace uh, Halberg. Uh, you have the Tattered Letter Hood. I've seen that drop uh, a couple of times in uh, Ludicrous Challenges. Tattered Letter Hood, yeah. Going for 270,000 gold right now with two of them up on the auction house. And then you have the cold stone slippers which i've seen a couple of times too going for roughly a hundred thousand gold right now so there's some expensive items in skolomats and i've seen most of these items drop myself but keep in mind they will take forever to sell like i'm talking from experience they will take a long time to sell but it's kind of like a cool thing to do if you feel like have a good how you have a good auction house and you just want to try something new then hey you might as well give it a shot, and you never know. You might be lucky and get one of these legacy items. Uh, you can, of course, also get, like, World Drop Epics. It is in the perfect range to get, like, Skullflame Shield, Destiny, Cloudkeeper, Light Plates, items like that. But in reality, if you want to farm Skullomance, it's like old man. Really dog shit until you get one of the super items. And these items, they're, they're not really that super even though they're slightly easier to get than the super items from Old Demand, but it's like the same principle. You're not going to make any gold unless you strike it really lucky. There's no average, like, decent, okay-ish transmog. Very few of them, at least. So I wouldn't recommend Skolomance for anyone just starting out with farming transmog. But if you have a good auction house uh, and you're getting steady sales, then sure, just spice it up by doing some Skolomance. But that was it for uh, today's video. So thank you all so much for watching. And it would mean a ton to me if you guys press the thumbs up, the like button, only if you enjoyed the video, of course. And I will see all of you guys back in on tomorrow's video. But until then, bye bye.